This week is all about setting up and managing your school, class and student assignments in BandLab. Hi guys, I'm Anthony and this is EdTech Music, where we look at how technology can help to deliver classroom music with more engagement and fun. Today we're taking a fast look around all the settings in BandLab to ensure that not only your students can access their work as they move up through the school, but also the correct people in your organisation have the right roles to ensure that schools, classrooms and assignments are managed correctly. So last week we looked at all the reasons why BandLab might be a good fit for you. We covered how it was free and why it always would be. We looked at the fact it's browser based and that it has apps to support it on other devices as well. We talked about it being a door, a digital audio workstation, so there's a range of different tasks you could use it for. And that also it has a very quick learning curve, but is very extendable and will grow with you as well. So the first thing we're going to do is create a school. It's this middle button here. And actually by clicking create school, I am now the owner of this school. So we'll give it a name, an address and a phone number. And if I click on the icon, then it'll let me upload an icon. There we go. And I can rotate it or adjust it and crop it if I need to. If not, I'll click upload. Once I'm done, I can click save. Now that I've got my new school listed at the side here, you can see it's given me the option to add additional schools. If I teach across multiple schools, I can add more schools here or more projects if you like as well and jump between them. Now that I'm in my school, I've got options to add classes. I can do that from the create class button down here or from the create class button up here. Let's click this one. And now it wants me to create a class. Here we go. I've given it a title and a description. And again, I can click on the icon. Then I can choose the image I want, crop it and hit upload. And from here, don't forget, when I go into the ellipsis again, the three dots, I've got the option to manage members. Going into manage members lets me not only add students, but add teachers. Let me click add teacher. And you can see here it generates a link. And this is one of the several ways to add both members and teachers to a class. So it says anyone with this code can join the school as a teacher automatically. You can change permissions for each member afterwards. So if I give somebody that code, that's useful to them. Or if I copy that link there. So I can copy that link and then paste it from the clipboard into an email or a message, however I get it to them. And clicking on the link will let them join BandLab, make an account and make them a teacher in this class. Equally, I'll show you how to use those codes in a minute. I can do the same with students. So if I click on add student, it does the same thing. It gives me a code that they can redeem when I show you how to. It also gives me a link that I can copy to the clipboard. And again, I can paste that to my students in any way that I normally would share a link to them. And clicking on it will let them make a BandLab account and sign in as a member of the class. Or if they've already got a BandLab account, it'll just add them to the class. The other option is manually, if I click on that here. And you can see here, I can input people's email addresses manually, write them a message, and then send them the invite from within BandLab. Let's take a minute to look at how you redeem these codes. So either as a teacher or as a student, a pupil, you can get a code that will let you join a class as either a teacher or a pupil. And the way that would work is to go back to the main screen. And this is the screen that you would see if you logged into BandLab not being in any classes. So if I just made an account from scratch as we did before, if you remember the only option available to me to start with was either to click on the create school and create class options here, or in this top left corner, it already had that join class button. So if I click on join class, you can see here it says enter your invite code. So pasting or typing the code you've been given into those boxes and hitting join is how you would join an existing classroom as either a teacher or a pupil, a student. Let's click back on that music class we created. And if you remember from here, we had options in here to manage the membership, to see existing teachers and existing students. So if we go back into the ellipsis and then to update profile, if you remember down here, we had the option to leave the class and it was leaving the class that was something we could only do once we'd assigned another teacher. Lastly, before we look at assignments, let's just go into privacy. And here it says, who can comment? Only members can comment on posts. And we can change here whether members or nobody can comment on the posts that you put out. So that's how you'd control membership, commenting and privacy. Let's go back to the classroom. Let's look at roles quickly before we go on to anything else. 
um, if I want to change the role of somebody in the team, I can either click on Members up here at the top, or I can go down to the ellipsis again and choose Manage Members from there. And from here, I'll be able to see a list of everybody that's involved in this class. Now, I only see me at the moment, but for other people, I would see an ellipsis next to them, where I could then choose whether I wanted to make them into a teacher, send them a message, or completely remove them. Or I could make them into the owner themselves. Remember, that's how I might want to leave the class as well myself. I have to make another owner to do that. I can do this at a school level as well. If I click on the title in the top left corner, Ants Demo School, it will then take me back to this screen, which is my list of schools and classes. And actually, if I go across to the ellipsis on the right next to the name of the school, I then have the option to manage school settings there. Here you can see I can change not only the information about the school once again, including those leave and delete danger buttons, but I can also go to members and do the same thing here. I can add additional teachers via the link or manually. And once they're in the school, I will then have them listed here where I'll have the same options for them as well. So as an admin, I have good control of everything that goes on within the classes and the school. But as an owner, I have those additional settings of, first of all, being able to delete the school or the class. I can also remove other administrators and I can change and rename any of the properties around either the school or the class as well. So in BandLab EDU, there are two types of projects, personal projects or class assignments. If I want to make a personal project, I can go to the file area here, my library in the top right corner. And then from this area, I can access any previous projects. I can upload one that I might already have created or by pressing the mix editor. Remember, that's how we got before to the actual door itself. The way to access your class assignments is through a class itself. So if I click on the BandLab logo in the top left corner, and then I go back into a class that I'm part of, then in here, as a student, I would see my assignments listed. At the moment, I'm the teacher, and therefore I have the option to either view assignments by going into assignments or make a new assignment. So here I have a new assignment button here, also one at the top there. And when I was on the classroom page, there's also a new assignment button there. Let's click it and see what happens. Now, whichever page I'm on, I have this little pop up that lets me create the content of the assignments. So first thing I can do is set a title, a deadline with a time and give the instructions. There we go. I've given it a title, a date and some instructions. And then I can go into attachments. Now here I can choose to share an example I've already created in BandLab as a starting point for them or I can create one now that I'm going to add, or I can upload a file up to 25 megabyte that I've pre-prepared as well. The third option is to assign to groups. So I can create student groups within my class that have this task rather than assigning it to everyone. Lastly, I can save it as a draft for later, or I can publish that assignment. And here's that assignment published. I can expand it to see the whole thing. I can also unpublish it, share it or delete it. And if I want to go and work on it again before it's accessed by students, I can click on Edit Assignment, which will take me back to that view. Now, I might want to reuse the same assignment with different classes. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Library option up there. And from here, I'm going to go not to Personal Projects, but in the side My Templates, where here I can click on New Template and I can create an assignment with a title and add that attachment here at this point as well if I want to, and then click Save. Now that will be available through my assignments that I can use in my classes when I need to. Where there's an ellipsis, always click it. So if I click this one, I have the option to go and edit that template task or to delete it altogether. Before we look at the student view, let's just take a quick look at announcements and chat. So if I'm in my classroom and I click on Create, one of the options in there is Create Announcement. And when I do that, this allows me to send a message to all of the students. Right, lastly, let's just look at what it is to be a student in a class. So I'm going to click on Add Student, and here I've got this code, remember? I'm going to copy that, or I could copy that URL, and let's go to the BandLab website. Remember, if you're a student, it'll take you straight to this page, but otherwise, this is what you do with the code. So I'm on the edu.bandlab.com homepage, and I'm going to click on Start as a Student. From here, it will let me paste that code in to join the class. Why join BandLab? And it now wants me to give my name and details and sign up. Here I can upload a picture. Let's do that. 
And here I am now in my class, having signed in. It lets me know it's me in the top corner. I can click on join class to join other classes, but within this school, you can see it's showing me the class I already have. Now, when I click on that as the pupil, here's the view, which is very similar. And when I click on start assignment for this one assignment, it'll take me straight into it. Now, I can either start it as the teacher's assignment, or if I want to work on a personal project version first, I can do. Let me click on teacher's assignment, and I'm going to click on browse loops to get in quickly. And here I am, and let me just click on loops down here to close it out the way. This view we're familiar with from last week, but while I'm working on the task, I have an option down here next to lyrics, notes and loops, etc. I have this assignment brief button and clicking it opens the task, the assignment that I've been set. So I can always check on what the criteria of the assignment are before going back to the loops library. Now up here, because it's an assignment, I have two options as a student. I have save, just like we do for a personal project, and I have submit. So today we've had a fast drive through all the settings to do with making your schools and classes within BandLab and around all the settings about managing that, setting up our first assignments and submitting that, and then a quick look at the student view, how to join a class and how to act on an assignment. Next week we'll look at setting our first assignment in detail and how students can react to those, and we'll also look at giving feedback on assignments as well. I hope you've got value out of today's video. If you have, please hit like, consider subscribing, because this is part of a Banlad series, but I'm also putting out lots of other videos each week as well. Thanks for watching.